Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to set up uh, your own website on a server. And we're going to use DigitalOcean for this. And I also want to tell you that this video is not sponsored by DigitalOcean. I, uh, it's just the uh, virtual server provider that I prefer. So um, let's get into it. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a website using DigitalOcean as a server provider. So what you want to do first is to go to digitalocean.com and you want to hit sign in. Now I'm already signed in in another tab here, so I'm not going to do that. The next step is to set up billing. So you want to go into the billing tab here and you want to add your credit card. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already done that. so. I don't need to do it again. And then to create a server, um, you can just click this droplet uh, tab here. Uh, or you can create a project and create the droplet within that project. But I'm just going to create a simple droplet uh, without setting up a project. And a droplet is basically just a virtual server. So let's hit create droplet now I can choose what kind of operating system I want to use uh, what Linux distribution I want to use and today we're going to use Debian and I'm actually going to use the latest version of Debian so we're going to use version 10 okay then we can choose what kind of power we want. Um, I will be using uh, um, a very simple, we're gonna create a very simple server today. I think this one will do for, for my purpose. Then you can select where you want your server to be. Uh, so my server, that's going to have eight gigabytes of RAM, four CPUs, uh, 160 gigabyte SSD disk and five terabytes transfer. Um, I can choose where I want the server to be. And um, I'm probably gonna go with Frankfurt because it is pretty close to my area. Then I can select additional options here. Um, I'm not going to select anything here at the moment. I can also add SSH key or a one-time password. Actually, let's do SSH key. So I'm going to add my SSH key on my, uh, from my computer in here. Now you can, if you do press, uh, the one-time password here, you're gonna get the password to your email. Um, but I'm gonna do the SSH key. So let's open up a terminal and let's do cat uh, dot SSH ID dot pub. This is my SSH key. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it in here. Now I will use this key to log in to the server. So DigitalOcean will store my SSH key on the server that I create here, and I will be able to log in using SSH. So let's name my key. I'm just gonna call this uh, Sebastian. Okay. Finalize and create. How many droplets? I want one droplet. And now you can name your droplet here if you want to. I'm gonna name mine Frankfurt. I can also add tags and things like that. I'm not going to do that right now. Now I can assign the droplet to a project and by default you'll have a project with your uh, name so 
it will assign it to my name here. Now I can also enable backups. This will uh, uh, add ad an additional price to your cost here. But okay, create droplet. So now DigitalOcean is setting up my droplet or my server. And you'll get this nice loading bar here. Cool, so our droplet is done. And when it's completed, <clears throat> DigitalOcean will show you the IP address here. So I can simply click to copy. So the IP address is copied to my clipboard now. now I'm uh, gonna copy the IP address and I'm gonna log into the server. And to uh, log into the server, I'm going to use SSH. So we're going to log into the server and set up our website. So what I'm going to do is SSH root app. I'm going to paste the IP address and I'm going to hit enter. And now it's asking me, are you sure you want to continue? And I will type in yes. And then I'll type my SSH key password. The SSH key password is uh, set when you generate your SSH key. I will put the link in the description on how to generate an SSH key. Okay, I'm inside the server now. Um, so now what we wanna start doing is, uh, first of all, I'm gonna go full screen here on the terminal. And what we wanna start doing is installing the necessary things for a web server. So the first thing we want to do when we log into the server is that we want to do some updates and upgrades. So the first thing we want to do is apt update and we want to hit enter. The second thing we want to do is type upgrade. So we're going to do apt upgrade. And we'll hit Y, that means yes, and enter. Now I'm going to type clear just to clear my terminal. And now we want to install the necessary things for a website. A web. So the first thing we want to install is a web server and we're going to use Nginx. So what you want to do is type apt install Nginx. And then you're just going to hit Y, that means yes, and hit enter. Now we want to see if Nginx is running. So type system CTL status Nginx and it seems to be running. Cool. Now you can open up your web browser again and open up a new tab, paste your IP address in the address field and hit enter. You're now able to access your web server. So now you might be wondering, how do you host your own, uh, your own website here? Because this is the default Nginx welcome screen. So the way you do that is you go to the terminal again. And as you can see, I'm still logging to the server. You see root at Frankfurt. I'm going to hit clear again. And then I'm going to go to CD. CD is a command to go to a specific directory. We're going to go to var vvv slash var slash vvv. And here's an HTML folder. Let's go into that. And here is the uh, default welcome screen HTML file. If we read it, we can read it uh, using cat. And here's the welcome screen. 
So let's say we want to have our own custom uh, website here. Then what you can do is that you remove the this file. So you do rm index uh, and you hit enter. Then you can create your own file. So I'm going to do vim index.html. I'm creating a new file called index.html and I'm opening it using vim. Now, uh, we're going to type some HTML like, just to demonstrate that this is working. So HTML, 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 head, head. So give it a title, my website, and let's give it a body, body. And let's put something here. Let's put an H1 tag. And we're going to type welcome. Uh, and we're going to do a paragraph tag. And we're going to do this site is under construction. Now I'm going to save the document by doing escape colon W. And I'm going to exit using Q. And if you're not familiar with Vim, you can use the editor Nano. Uh, it's a bit simpler uh, to use. Okay, now let's open up the web browser again and refresh. And now we see we're seeing our custom uh, website here. So you can put whatever whatever HTML file you want here, and it's going to work. Now, as you can see, we're still using our IP address to access our website. Normally, you would want a domain name here. And to get that to work, you would have to point uh, your DNS records to this I your IP address of the server. And you're usually doing that at your domain provider. You can usually do it there. Um, so look up your DNS settings and you should be able to do it. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do it. This video is how just how to set up a server on DigitalOcean with a website. So there we go.